So you're watching the game, you got a cold one on the way, you grab a piping hot slice of pizza, you put it in your mouth, and oh, I burnt my tongue, why? Hey everybody, thank you for watching D News Today, I'm Trace. Pizza is one of the world's greatest inventions. But when I was watching sports ball over the weekend, I totally put a piece in my mouth and now I cannot feel this part of my tongue. The act of burning your tongue falls under the medical term of glossitis, which also covers dry mouth, infection, or hormonal factors, plus simple things like biting your tongue or reactions to spicy foods. Hot food renders our tongues pretty much useless because it's burned off the top layer of our taste receptors. We call them taste buds. The receptors vary in number from person to person from 2,000 to 10,000. They're all over the tongue, the roof of the mouth, and even at the back of the throat. Those tiny bumps on your tongue, those are not your taste buds. Those are lingual papillae. There are four types of papillae in your mouth. Some contain taste buds and some don't. If you burn your tongue, you've probably damaged the fungiform papillae, named that way because they look like tiny mushrooms. Each one of those fungiform papillae contains six taste buds. Commonly, a tongue burn is a first degree burn, the lowest of the three levels of burn. An example on the skin would be accidentally touching a hot pan and it leaves a shiny red line on you. When you burn your mouth, the taste buds are destroyed, which in itself isn't a big deal because they're constantly being regenerated. Underneath the top layer of your tongue are basal cells, and every 10 days, those basal cells mature into place at the top of the taste bud, where they're eventually replaced by a new taste bud, and so on and so forth. The good news is, if you burn your mouth, the mouth wounds heal relatively quickly, twice as fast as the rest of the body, because it's in the body's best interests. Taste evolved to protect us from poisons, which commonly taste bitter, and allow us to eat things which keep our body in tip-top shape, like salty sodiums and sugary, fatty, energy foodstuffs. If you burn your tongue, there's not much to be done but wait until it heals, which might take a couple of days. If it's really bad, though, like the burn has blisters or you see charred tissues, go to the damn hospital. But even knowing all this, why is it always pizza? I found, surprisingly, that this was pretty well studied. In one paper titled Thermal Characteristics of Mozzarella Cheese, the researchers found the specific heat capacity of mozz, or the amount of heat the physical molecules of cheese can hold, and it's about 2.7 kilojoules per kilogram Celsius. That's a lot, more than rubber or fiberboard, and less, by a little bit, than balsa wood or paraffin wax. Cheese can get pretty darn hot before bursting into flame. Now we know. Thanks, physics students. Y'all are great. Do you have a burning science question? You see what I did there with burning science? Anyway, you can ask us in the comments. And since we're talking about burning, do you think eating spicy foods make you more macho? Because there is a link between testosterone and those uh, spicy meatballs. Watch me and Julian talk it out in this video. A new study in physiology and behavior says men who like spicy food tend to also have high levels of testosterone. Yeah! And thank you for watching D News today. Please subscribe, and we'll see you later.